things are so bad in the country. I was following a proceeding of a school close to my house yesterday. Okay. I don't know what they were doing, if it was end of year party or end of session party, I don't know. Right. Uh, the MC, when they want to commence the event, said people should stand up for national anthem. People refused to stand up. The parents refused to stand up. Wow. You know, they were saying Nigeria is back there. There is no need for singing national anthem. Wow. Our leaders are not taking into cognizance the feeling of people. But they, they, they do know us. They know we are those are people. You know, we are, we are a set of people who don't think. When it's time for election, all they need is to give some people face cap and uh, t shirt Off they go. You know, uh... It will take a collective effort of consigned people, consigned Nigeria, hmm. educated and enlightened Nigeria, for hmm. this country to, to go out of the, I mean, uh, uh, out of the doldrum. Mm-hmm. Because to be honest with you, where we are right now, hmm. we, yes, subsidy must go, but the main, you know, one of the, the effects against the, is that unification of Naira, uh, I mean, to the dollar. We are not producing anything. The government should have waited a little. You know, you, you, you look at the effect of the subsidy, I mean, subsidy remover. Mm-hmm. Before you go in uh, to, to the uh, other, other ones, but you are bashing off from right, left, and center. The fact is, leaders in Nigeria only think of themselves. They don't think of collective growth. And until we have that person that will think of collective growth, that is when we'll get it right in Nigeria. Thank you, and good afternoon. Thank you very much for calling, and good afternoon to you. Let's speak with you now, 99.3. Hello. Ooh. Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Good afternoon. Alexander. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Uh, my oh, name is Victor. Uh, unfortunately, the line is not clear. Victor, try and call me back. 99.3. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? Yes, sir. It's Emmanuel 2, CJ on the line. Emmanuel, welcome. Talk to me. All right. Yes, what I want to talk, you see, this issue of uh, uh, fuel, you see, the the problem we are having is as wide as the uh, Pacific and the uh, Indian Ocean. You know, because we are running a money economy, it's a difficult task. And it, it needs, we need a genius, a man of wisdom to lead us. And this boy down to 1967, I have said it on this platform, what my eyes saw in the early 90s at Only Fertilizer Company, about that people was almost 95% employees there. And this set of people, the kind of mindset they have is, let us eat today and forget tomorrow. Nigeria can never work until we have a leader that have this contract happen. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Emmanuel, for calling. 99.3. Hello, Sandra. Thank, thank you for calling. What's your name, ma'am? Hmm. My name is Omos from Manchester. Welcome. Talk to me. Ah. Sandra. Dele, how are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. I would say I'm fine. But inside, I'm not fine. Yeah. Because everywhere you go, everybody is singing the same national anthem. No money, no food. Everything is expensive. Did you know from Majek to Aja is 800? Yes. That is, um, Songo Tedo has it. If you are coming from Majek to Aja, it's 800 naira. Before okay. it used to be 300. Okay. It's 800. Okay. And Sandra, hmm. I sell food stuff. Okay. Now, in my shop, there is nothing in the shop. Okay. Because if I have small money to go to the market, to go and buy something, mm-hmm. everything in the market is on the high side. Give me an example. And where if I bought jam mm. before they normally bring it for me and mm. uh, four thousand now it's eight thousand naira. Goodness. From my twelve. Goodness. How will I sell to people? When people come to the shop, their son will come and be fighting me, madam your things cost your things cost. But what did I want to do? Bag of diary, fourteen pence, now it's twenty thousand. Goodness. How much so before? What? Before it was 13,000, uh, 13, by 12,500. Now it's 20,000. Okay. As I'm talking to you, I'm thinking of to close my shop because I don't have money to run the business anymore. I'm sorry. Everywhere you go, we don't have light. We can't even buy fuel to, to, to use gems. The top fuel in our area is 700. Oh. And uh, this is not what I planned for. None of us did. 
this is not what I stand for. Mm-hmm. After the election, now I will stop giving up in this country. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. We will get through it. I need you to understand that what you're dealing with, I'm also dealing with. We'll get through it. We don't have a choice. We'll get through it. One way or the other, we'll get through it. One way or the other.